hey guys welcome to code sls and this is our second video of our ongoing series android true color clone series so today i'll be continuing the project setup will we ha we had this uh introduction of this uh, series and now in this part we'll be doing a project setup and some uh list of things that i have meant i'll like mentioned in this list and i'll share that with you so let's get started so first of all i know that i have not made any video in, in last a week i guess in last two weeks but uh, i think i was busy and will try to do it now regularly so let's get started with the video so there are true color clone this play screen authentication list of registered users send notification when calling to user from our registered users so what i've done is i've like made this kind of a mind mapping thing and i'll like show you that how our app will means what will be the flow of our app so we'll have this splash screen first of all so whenever user open there is the, there is this intro not introduction screen but there is this screen which has some logo and it has some api it might have some api calls in background uh, depend on the uh, requirement of the app so i will be implementing this splash screen and in that splash screen will be uh, will be checking that check whether user is registered or not so if user is registered then we'll uh redirect it to the list of user, registered user student if not then we'll redirect the user to the authentication authentication screen so that we can like uh, authenticate the user or something like that then authentication for the authentication will be using otp verification will be using mobile number authentication and will be using firebase so i'll explain the authentication thing but uh, for now just understand the stuff that i will be using mobile authentication on mobile number authentication and yeah that's it and then we'll have so once the user is registered we'll show list of registered users so it's it doesn't necessary because we can't just like show all the users that are in our app or all the users that are using our app and just show that to some users it doesn't doesn't make sense um, at least for our app because we are we can't just share this but for the sake of uh, function implementing stuff and for the sake of this like uh implement some of those things uh, i i thought that it would be cool to just list of registered users on our vita app because uh, uh, we are not going like thinking about from this this uh, leave it for now then we'll be uh, so then we ha will create a service so which will get triggered whenever a user calls from his own phone or his or her phone and by the time it comes whenever it like dials and just press the call button uh, will get notified and we can send the notification so that's our whole idea and so for that we'll be using broadcast receiver we'll be uh, using service to send the notification and yeah that's it for these i think you if you have any question i'll i'll try to put this link in like my description so you can also go and interact with it so for now <laughs> let's go go to true color clone so so i've made this document so what will is so we'll be using kotlin so this app entirely will be done in kotlin we'll use mvvm architecture so why we'll be using so mvvm stands for model view view model then we'll be using architecture components from android we'll be using jetpack navigation view model we'll be using material ui components obviously features we will be using from firebase so they are so as per our app requirement we'll be using cloud firestore to store the data of the users we'll use crashlytics so if 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 any crash happens in our app so we can get to know that uh, what what kind of uh, means crash happened or we can get it in our firebase means in crash analytics section and we can like try to solve this solve that bug we'll be using fcm which is which stands for firebase cloud messaging which is used for notification so we'll be using that and we'll be using authentic authentication so types of authentic authentication we can use so there is oauth oauth is basically um, will be uh, oauth is stand for like what we can do with oauth is we will you will be using like third party apps like google facebook linkedin github so these are the platforms that provide their own login method so you can just uh, verify users by that uh, these particular accounts and yeah i think you might have used it in any of the other apps 
but uh, yeah, we can use it both as well so to so what we can do but uh, we, there are other things so we can use server based authentication as well so what is server based authentication in server based authentication will be having our own implementation on server side using like python or uh, node.js or some, uh, uh, node.js or something like that will there will be use uh, a token based uh, authentication other and the thing that we will be using it is using firebase so firebase also provides the multiple times of multiple types of authentication one is using email and password based authentication which is, uh, in that you will have to provide email and password to the uh, firebase and firebase interns and the OTP on email or something like that and that way uh, it will verify the email or you can also skip that part uh, phone number based authentication so in phone number based you will have to enter the number and by entering the number uh, it will uh, firebase send a notification or oh, sorry OTP to your number and you have to enter and uh, once the OTP, OTP verification is done you can uh, go means, uh, you, are, means you are logged in the app the other thing using so uh, so firebase also supports this third party uh, authentication so if you use google apple facebook twitter authentication using firebase so you did not uh, go to like uh, manually uh, let your um, data send to your like facebook or facebook sorry firebase and make it, make them like uh, means uh, put them like uh, they are logged in or not but you can use for google apple or facebook or any any of the third party authentication via via firebase so once you do authentic authenticate users based on this method you'll be able to like uh, register themselves on firebase as well so we'll not be using that we'll not be using this uh, server based authentication and sign into firebase using a token so whenever you use whenever we will be using server based authentic authentication so in server based authentication uh, whenever we send the users data to the server server will send in return a token which will be the token will be uh, in return sent to firebase to uh, let user sign in and there is uh, uh, anonymous authentication as well uh, but we will be using phone number based authentication for now but if you want any of these uh, any of the other authentication method do let me know in the comments or you can mail me at buildtocode.gmail.com yeah, that's it server based notification i've already explained so that's it uh, that's not it but that's it for this like document i i think pretty much explained everything and uh, with the things that i'm not mentioned will be covering in the uh, next videos so that is something that you will not be worry about worrying about so first let's start and set up this project i've already done the new true color demo true color demo okay okay and now i'll like finish it So, and the other thing is we'll be using mvvm so what is mvvm as, as i've already told you so why why do we need to use uh, any architecture mvvm or mvp or mvc or stuff like that why do we need to use a model view view model architecture so first of all uh, understand the thing under the fact that uh, first of all why do we need an architecture so if you if you if you have uh, ever worked on a professional project or on a company uh, which uses is so so if you if you do not follow any architecture you'll messed up once the project scale is very large right because you uh, otherwise what you will do is you will do everything in a single class or single single activity or fragment but by using this it separates based on the concern of the uh, part of the code like uh, for example you can see there is this first activity or fragment which is a view so in model view view model view stands for activity of fragment which users can actually see then there is this view model which is live data so i'll explain live data later otherwise you can just uh, get the like hint of hint from the name as well this repository stuff the model and remote data source room data and retrofit which is room is underlying using escalate and stuff so what the use of view model so what view model view model does is view model is uh, connect means it connected to the repository or the repository is used for like uh, where where your data will be uh, would have been stored or something like that so view model will get the data from this model part so the repository has this model and remote data source so so whatever so you call this api 
then the api was you will create a model class then in model class you will have your uh, like suppose a for login you need login password and stuff so you will mention that in a class you will create a model class then then in view model what you will do is you will get the data from the model and then from view model you will propagate that data to the view but the view will not be directly connected to the model part so that's the fact um, and you can use any processing on the data and stuff on the view model part so i think that separates um, uh, a lot of stuff so we'll be ex i'll i'll uh, show you the like uh, how to implement this mvvm in our project so i think our project might have been built so yeah it's done it's built already so we'll have to like uh, put some of the <coughs> dependency uh, for android architecture that will be using android architecture components so first of us first of all we'll have to like uh, you can search for like if uh, as we need to uh, like a uh, set up firebase also so will will uh, in future videos will be set uh, will set up firebase will set up uh, and use the dependencies i'll mention all the dependencies in the description also so you can just uh, go there and just copy stuff from, from there for now let's keep our video till now only because it's already 11 minutes and i'll like uh, give all these links in the description thank you guys